In this session, we will simulate a model and then explore MapleSim's visualization tools. MapleSim's example palette contains a 5 degree of freedom robot model. Let's start by simulating this model. We now see the visualization window. This contains plots and an animation. You can rotate, pan, and zoom the animation with menu items or keyboard shortcuts. The cat objects contained within the MapleSim model move with the motion of the robot. A path trace also tracks the motion of the robot wrist. A blue line progresses along the probe results, synchronized with the playback of the animation. The visualization window contains custom plots. In this instance, we compare the desired and actual joint angles on a single plot. Plots in a single window can be linked together. This allows changes in one plot to propagate to others. Let's create a custom plot that contains the desired angle for one joint. You can also drag variables onto the chart. Here, we add the measured angle for the joint to the same plot. Then we can add a second plot to the same window by holding the shift button, then clicking the add results. Let's return to the MapleSim model and examine the structure of the servo motor. Within the subsystem, we can see the position of the servo motor is controlled with a feedback loop. Let's say we want to see the motor's torque, but did not add a probe to the motor shaft. MapleSim provides additional simulation results that have not been explicitly probed, but have been used in the simulation. In this instance, we search for the variable that contains the servo motor torque. Let's select the plot, then right click on the motor torque variable and add it to the secondary axis. Next. Let's take a look at the 3D Construct window. Any changes made in the structure of the multibody model in the workspace are instantly reflected in the 3D Construct window. Additionally, components selected in the workspace are also highlighted in the 3D Construct window and vice versa. Here, we've selected a rigid body frame in the Construct window. The selection is reflected in the workspace and the process is reversed by selecting a CAD object in the workspace. The underlying ball and stick representation of the multibody structure can also be viewed and animated. This is achieved by toggling the display option. You can save the simulation results. These can be compared against new simulation results with different parameters. Next, we will return to the MapleSim model. Let's now change the amplitude of the end effector oscillation. The custom plots now show the results of the saved data along with the latest simulation results. If needed, you can export the numerical simulation results to a text file. We can toggle the different simulation results on or off 